guys, it's me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to part. What part is this? 16 of the Supernatural LP. Last time we left off, uh, Odessa was pregnant, and uh, what's Xander's baby? Yeah. We had redid the house a little bit, uh, including this room, which will now be Xander and Odessa's, and the incoming babies. This room right here is Raven and Luke's room. They are kind of just chilling in here with uh, the alchemy set and a bookcase and bunk beds. And yeah, that's basically what's happening. Uh, so everybody's heading to bed, so I'm just going to skip until somebody wakes up. Okay, and Odessa is the first one awake. And Odessa is feeling very down and everything today. Uh, I will go ahead and explain that as she showers oh my gosh we might just be having this baby this part holy crap OMG <laughs> she's freaking huge all right let me go ahead and explain um Oops. Crap. Dismiss Bone Hilda, please. And then go ahead and shower. Alright, let me go ahead and explain. She used a lot of fairy magic, so she feels very starved from her fairy magic uh, powers. It's empty completely right now. Um... So we have to make a potion or just wait for it to fill up. Uh, she's very lonely, uh, so we will get on that. And she's a social butterfly, so she feels like she's invisible. And she smells. And she's hungry. So, uh, Raven's awake. So Raven will go ahead and make some pancakes. Um, and just serve some food up, since Odessa's hungry as well. Oh, and look who's awake. Father to be. Xander. Oh, look how cute. Oh. oh, cute. What a cutie. Okay, anyways, um, while she's cooking that, Xander will show Odessa and the baby some love. Uh, he will talk to the tummy. No, he will feel the tummy. In the bathroom where that baby was made. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Oh, do <laughs> People uh be cute and you know be sweet to her and everything because she's kind of lonely right now and everything, so make her feel special. I think the food's almost done, hopefully. Yeah, the food's almost done. So they'll have that in a second. Ooh, Luke needs to wake up, boy. Okay, he's up and he's gonna go have his, some plasma juice. I freaking love Luke. I, I don't know why. I just love him because he's a vampire. It reminds me of Late Night, which I will be doing a Let's Play of Late Night in the future. So, yes. And I will be doing a Let's Replay This... Ooh, shoot, what was that? Let's Replay The Sims 3 Showtime. And I will be doing a World Adventures LP. All of this cool stuff in the future, so... Yes, and a Sims 1 LP, too. Oh, carpool for Luke's here. He's off to work to make the money that supports this household. Uh, he makes really good money. He does. He makes 78 smolians per an hour. That's really good. <laughs> so Odessa's done eating. Oh, oh, we gotta pay the bills. Okay. So since she's so pregnant, let's see her fly. <laughs> um, let's see if Raven can go ahead and jump on uh, the uh, potion making for her magic. I'm not sure if we have that unlocked yet. 
Yes, we do. Oh, but we need honey. But we have our little bees, so we will go ahead and do that. Oh, crap. What is... Oh, man, I just messed up. He had medical crap he had to do. Oh, man. <sighs> Whatever. Raven will come harvest some honey really, really fast. Um, since we need some honey. How did I know this was going to happen? I knew this was going to happen. She'll clean the box, feed the bees, and whatnot. Oh, she's so cute. She'll go ahead and uh, take care of her plants, I suppose. She'll take every little plant. Her and her big belly. Oh, crap, why did I do that? <laughs> Alright, Xander, what's your athletic at? His athletic's actually really good, but he doesn't really know his teammates too well, so when he goes to work today, he will definitely get to know his little... Oh my gosh, the friggin' beehive's crazy! Raven has work in one hour. Poor thing keeps getting attacked! Oh, now she gets to go to work right as we get the honey, huh? Whatever. Odessa is just taking care of her plants like a cutie, and she has back pains from her pregnancy. Uh, which I honestly think she's gonna have this freaking baby so soon. Like, it's actually amazing me. Because her stomach is getting so big. Like, honestly, so big. We have so much fruit in here, too. She'll go ahead and eat a tomato. Why not? Just gonna eat a little tomato. <gasps> yeah. The baby is coming. Make sure Odessa is at home or in the hospital so she can have a safe and comfortable birth. Ah, picture! Oh! Okay, she's gonna go to the hospital. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Who else is excited? Who? Ah! Oh my gosh! And Luke's there. And we're heading there. And she's riding her freaking broom while she's in labor. Hey, get back here! <laughs> I'm so excited. Luke! Get over here! I mean, friggin' Xander! Come here now! Picture, one more picture. Just, just so I can document this. Ooh, this hospital's really nice. Alright, Xander, Xander's on his way. Here comes Xander. Alright, I have to really quickly cut and pick out a name. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie guys, so now we are going to sit here and wait And of course they will have more kids, I don't think one's enough You guys know that for my generation's up ah! A baby boy, yay Odessa's um, pregnancy went well and she had the baby and the she and the baby made it through smoothly. The baby has been bored with the good tray, and you will be able to choose his second. I picked the name Caleb. I thought that was cute. Caleb. And he is good, and we will also make him... He will be... Er... Uh, mm, athletic? He'll be athletic. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh. oh, 
she has her little stroller. Oh. He's all like merp. He looks like a little old man. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is this is very exciting, guys. Our first supernatural baby. Now what I want to know is whether he's a werewolf or a fairy. Uh I guess we will just have to wait until he ages up to a toddler. Um, talking about dropping some weight, Caleb Furrow just became thin. He won't forget how he changed his appearance. What? He's just born. How did his weight change? Well, we have our first baby, and his name is Caleb. And he's adorable. Oh, What the fuck? I mean, what the frig? <gasps> oh. Uh. What did uh, Raven just sell? Uh, that makes no sense, but uh, okay. Um, Xander's like, oh, I'm a dad. He's like, I'm a father. And Odessa's just like, I have no makeup on. I just gave birth. But I have a baby. <laughs> and she's about to drop the baby to go bloom some plants. Typical fairies. Typical, typical fairies. Okay. <laughs> now that we have the baby, uh... It's crazy, and I definitely think Xander missed work. Oh no, he got two days off because of the baby, which is good. I'm I'm so happy. We have a little bundle of joy in our house. Oops. Oops. How special. We need to get a teddy bear though. We'll uh we'll drag a mummy one in there. <laughs> Now he has like a little mummy in there with him. Luke has come home with 701 simoleons. Raven earned 100. Wow. Now that the baby is out of Odessa, <laughs> she got her fairy freaking magic back and she's been energized from the moonlight. Um. So, now, uh, they can start planning the wedding, so they will, uh, go ahead and plan that. They'll throw it somewhere nice, I suppose. I just have to decide where. It's like, yeah, man, yeah, yo. <laughs> she will throw it at, uh, somewhere nice, you know? I don't even know where to, where to throw it. Uh, for now, um, I actually, maybe a house party is the way to go, but then I'm thinking, no, we'll just wait, like, a part, and I still have to go and place a freaking wedding arch and everything anyways, so we'll just wait until, like, the next part to do that and go to their wedding and do that fun stuff. <laughs> She's like, Luke, did he see me? Did he see me? <laughs> At the hospital? He's like, yeah, I did. Um, Luke is going to go ahead and study. Uh, whose medical journal? Uh, whose medical journal, Luke? Uh, it just says medical journal. Okay, boy. <laughs> um, Odessa, Odessa. She's a mommy now. How cute. Happy. She wants to uh, marry Xander and enter a gar gardening composite competition. Cannot talk. Uh, Raven is showering up and everything. I will also have her go ahead and um, clean. Well, we'll uh, let Bone Hilda come out. But uh, we'll have her go ahead and uh, serve something to eat. Uh, in a sack. Okay. So Bonhilda is out to clean. 
Uh, while we wait for her to do that, we will go ahead and... Okay, come on, girl. We are just trying to freaking eat and make some food, and we have to wait for her to clean our crap up. Okay. Now, we will go ahead and make some mac and cheese. Um... Oh, Caleb's crying! Oh, Luke! Uncle Luke is taking care of you. How special. <laughs> Uncle Luke. Thornhild is just like... Boy! Look at them. Look at them, both of them. Look at, look at Bone Helda shaking her head. <laughs> He's like, Luke, this is my freaking kid. Why are you touching him? Luke's just like, I'm trying to help. <laughs> he will put Caleb in the swing that Chris J83 gifted me like a sweetheart. Like a sweetie. And he will turn on slow. Alright. Luke needs to shower because he smells. And then Luke will shower and he will head to bed. <laughs> they crack me up. Okay. Um. Whoa. Look at Xander getting all fancy. We're waiting for freaking Raven to finish cooking. Okay, she just finished. Um, now everybody who's hungry will go grab some food. Uh, Xander, I'm gonna have Xander go ahead and just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you. And these two are just going to chill out. I think freaking Sammy's bull is in the way of for them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move that somewhere. Um, where is the real question? Um, uh, Sammy? I don't know where you're gonna go. Let me buy a little table, I suppose. A little table will do the job. Let's see. This and a table. We can put a little table by the um, alchemy set and we'll just put Sammy over there. Yep. Sammy will go on there. Okay. So now we can start using the table that we did purchase. Um, Luke is off to bed and Odessa will be heading to bed very shortly. Um, right after she cleans up her plates, she will go to bed. She will actually go ahead and take little Caleb out of his thingy and just put Caleb in his crib instead of in his thingy. In his baby swing so, you know, he doesn't get a mood that, that he's dizzy. And she will go ahead and head to bed. Alright, good night, all this <laughs> Uh, Luke is already in bed, so isn't Raven. Everybody's in bed, so I will go ahead and skip until somebody wakes up. Okay, and Xander is the first one awake, other than Caleb. Uh, Bonehild is taking care of him. <laughs> um, so Xander is going to go ahead and just get ready for the day, I suppose. He will, uh, eat some leftover mac and cheese. And uh, he has, like, another day and a half off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're all slap dancing over here. From a boombox I didn't even buy. <laughs> I honestly, I, I don't even want to know. Okie doke. So I'm gonna have Xander go ahead and dismiss uh, Bonehilda because she's been awake for quite some time. It's almost Raven's birthday! Oh my gosh! It's almost Raven's birthday! That's, that's crazy, guys! <laughs> so Luke, not Luke, oh my gosh. 
Xander is going to come out and try to catch some uh, bugs. Uh, Odessa, when do you age up? Oh, not for another 84 sim days. She is a fairy, so she definitely does not get as old as quickly as everybody else. Luke ages up and 84 because he's a vampire, maybe? Because she's about to age up. Xander is too. So these two are crazy cool and they age up really slow. Lucky little little animals or something. Supernaturals. <laughs> Luke has work in one hour so I'm going to go ahead and have Luke just wake up. So we can get some plasma. Uh, plasma orange juice. Oh, and there's his carpool, so he better hurry up and drink that really fast. Go on, boy. <laughs> Uncle Riley was ecstatic to hear about the great news. He has sent Caleb Farrow, a friend from his magical toy factory, to keep Caleb company. Caleb should drink... <laughs> Caleb should gain relationship with it and watch the special gift gifts unlock as he ages. Obtain the mail to place it in Caleb's inventory. So we'll do that. Okay, this kid keeps stealing stuff, and I freaking love it. He stole this from the hospital. It's worth 300 smolians. It's like a plant. Um, we wouldn't use it, so just go ahead and sell that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, we will go ahead and get our imaginary friend. And we will watch little Caleb grow up. Uh, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this part. It was a really cute part, in my opinion, with Odessa giving birth and everything. Yeah. And we will be having a wedding pretty soon, and it's just going to be fun. So we will see you all next time, and I love you guys so much. Bye.